Hey friends, welcome to Creating Inner Beauty. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about seven common challenges we experience in our everyday lives and how they may be related to how your chakra system is functioning. My name is Liz and I'm an intuitive transformational coach and healer for empathic, intuitive, and soulful women who are, want to embody their unique inner beauty and create lives they love. And one of the things I like to focus on a lot in my work is looking at your energy body, your energy system, and how it's functioning, what blocks there may be within that system, and focus on healing them so that you can start to create a life that really reflects what it is that you would like to experience. So let's dive in. Now, I'm going to go over seven common challenges, as I mentioned, and give you a simple tip that you can utilize for each challenge that can help rebalance the chakra that it's associated with. So challenge number one is feeling constantly fearful and anxious. This is often connected to issues with the root chakra. Now your root chakra is the first chakra of your energy system, and it governs how safe secure and stable you feel in the world and in your life. It's all about your right to be here and take up space. So if you're feeling fearful and anxious, there may be some sort of block or imbalance in this root chakra. And now one thing that you can do that can really help start rebalancing that chakra and get it functionally functioning more optimally is to focus on grounding. And grounding is a practice where you connect your energy to the energy of the earth. So a simple thing you can do is go outside, place your feet on the earth, whether it be on the grass or the soil or any place that you feel really connected to mother nature and focus on connecting down into her energy, sending your energy down through the soles of your feet into mother earth and visualizing, picturing, imagining, don't be afraid to use your imagination. It's a powerful tool that mother earth is sending you back, grounding energy, connecting you down into her. And that's going to leave you feeling much more stable and secure. Now, if it's difficult to go outside right now, you can do this during a guided meditation or visualization. So all you need to do is close your eyes, picture mother earth and picture yourself growing roots down through the bottoms of your feet and connecting down into her. And that's going to leave you feeling really grounded. Issue number two, having any kind of feeling of being blocked emotionally, creatively, or sexually. Now this can be where you feel sort of numbed out. You don't feel like you can access or express your feelings. If you have been, you know, if you're an artist or a writer or someone who would like to create something and you're just feeling really stuck and stagnant in that process, or if in regard to sexual blocks, if you're having a really hard time feeling sexual desire, if you're having a hard time finding pleasure, finding orgasm, that kind of thing, if you're really feeling stagnant or stuck in that area. And those kind of blocks are often related to dysfunction in your sacral chakra, which is your second chakra. And the sacral chakra governs our emotions, our ability to be creative and express things into the world, and our ability to experience pleasure, sexuality, and sensuality. So in order to start to rebalance this chakra, the sacral chakra, an uh, amazing thing that you can do is any kind of movement practice that gets you into your body, gets you feeling sensual, gets you experiencing visual physical sensations, and especially things like dance. Belly dance is wonderful. Um, any kind of other dance that you're just free flowing and moving your body that will really move the energy in your sacral chakra. Now, third common issue is difficulty getting things done. I don't know if any of you have experienced that, but I have definitely experienced that. And that is an issue that can be, create, that can be connected to your third chakra, your solar plexus chakra. Now the solar plexus is a chakra that governs our will, 
our motivation, our confidence, our sense of personal power. So if there are any issues within that chakra, it can be really difficult to assert ourselves in the world, assert our needs in the world, and follow through into action. And so that's why it can be challenging to get things done if there are any blocks in that third solar plexus chakra. And now a really simple thing that you can do that really gets that chakra moving and more balanced is focusing on vigorous physical exercise. Now this can be a little different than the movement practice I talked about for your sacral chakra. That's about moving more sensually, about enjoying the movement of your body, about enjoying the feelings of your body and um, your senses and taste and touch and moving in all those kinds of ways. The physical exercise that's, that can be helpful to your solar plexus chakra is much more vigorous, like a vigorous yoga workout, a vigorous cardiovascular workout, just something that's about you moving your body in space and getting your personal power really jacked up and really feeling really full of it there, feeling strong. Um, another thing that you can consider is any way in which you can assert yourself and assert your needs and share who you are. So if that is setting a boundary with someone in your life, if that's just acknowledging to yourself, hey, these are the things I really value and need, any kind of practice or exercise in which you do so, writing in a journal, stating it out loud to yourself, etc., is going to strengthen and rebalance your solar plexus chakra. Now, fourth issue is relationship difficulties. If you're having trouble um, finding a relationship, being in caring and loving relationships with other people in your life, whether that be family, friends, or romantic partners, um, anything that relates to how we're connecting to other people. This can relate to your fourth chakra, your heart chakra. The heart chakra is all about how we give and receive love and compassion. So if there are any challenges there, if your heart chakra is feeling very closed, or if it's overly open and you're feeling like people are taking too much from you, that can really play out in some of our relationship concerns. So a simple thing that you can do for your fourth chakra is to journal about what you're feeling and journal about how you can experience more love in your life. Set the intention to open the heart chakra and call in love that is healthy, that is balanced, and that allows you to both give and receive. And journaling is a wonderful method to do that with because there's a certain power to writing down what it is that we intend that helps really give it a lot of oomph in your life. Now, fifth issue is express being able to express yourself authentically, express your feelings and express who you authentically are. Now, if you're having challenges with that, this can often be related to issues within your fifth chakra, your throat chakra. Now, the throat chakra governs communication. It governs our sense of expressing ourselves, expressing truth, and especially our personal truth. You know, what is important to us, who we authentically are, what we need, all of that kind of good stuff. And so if there are issues there, that can be really challenging. And something that you can do that really helps get the energy moving in your throat chakra is singing. You can sing, sing along with your favorite songs on the radio, um, sing along um, just with you know whatever music that comes to, to your mind and really resonates with you. Um, you can also do practices such as chanting or mantra practices where you're saying out loud certain mantras that really have resonance for you. That really helps to open up your throat chakra. Now, sixth issue that we'll be diving into is lack of clarity about your life. If you're having trouble really feeling like you know how to move forward with your life, what your life path is what um where you what's your next step in what you would like to do and experience this is often related to issues in your sixth chakra which is your third eye chakra which is located here in between uh, the eyebrows at your third eye now the third eye chakra really governs your intuition 
and um, your ability to see things clearly. And now that can relate to eyesight actually, but what I mean by that is much more sort of the, the concept of being able to get a clear vision about your life. So when that chakra is blocked or not working correctly, it can be really difficult to trust your intuition, trust the vision that you have for your life and move forward on it. So something that is really easy to do to stimulate the third eye is um, to really engage in any kind of visual artwork. So painting, drawing, coloring, that kind of thing. And it can be helpful to do guided visualizations. Visualizations where you close your eyes, you focus in on that third eye space and use your imagination, your ability to visualize, to create um, objects in front of you or go on a guided journey and there are plenty of lovely meditation uh, videos on youtube in which you can experience a guided visualization and doing those kinds of activities repeatedly will really strengthen and balance your third eye chakra now seventh issue seventh common issue is your feeling spiritually empty and disconnected now this is something that I find that a lot of my clients face, um, having a lot of spiritual confusion, especially if they're going through a spiritual awakening or just feeling disconnected from any sense of something bigger than yourself. And this can relate to blocks or issues in your seventh chakra, your crown chakra, which is located above the top of your head at the crown of your head. Now the seventh chakra governs our connection to our higher self to divine wisdom, to the universe, um, to guidance coming in through your from the universe and from your spirit guides and from your higher self. So when that chakra is blocked, we have difficulty finding that sense of peace and connection with something larger than ourselves and difficulty hearing the wisdom and guidance that the universe has for us. So something that you can do to really open up that chakra is gonna be meditation. So sitting quietly, focusing in on the experience of that chakra opening, clearing your mind, and just seeing what comes through. And yes, meditation takes some practice. It takes a bit of persistence in uh, sitting down and getting into the experience. But if you focus on that repeatedly, that can really do a lot to open up that seventh chakra and help you feel more spiritually connected. It's also wonderful to do guided med meditations on YouTube or find a meditation class that you can go to that will really kickstart that practice for you. So I hope you've enjoyed these, hearing about these seven common issues and what chakras they're connected to. Now in my work, I like to do a lot of energy clearing and energy balancing, and I offer energy healing sessions that will help you with any chakra blocks. And I've also created a free downloadable audio guided chakra clearing and balancing meditation. And I'm going to put the link for that down in the description bar of this video. And that way, if you are feeling like you're having experiencing any of these issues, you can download that meditation, do that meditation, and it will guide you through a process that will really clear out and balance your chakras and help you resolve some of these issues. Now, I'd love to hear if these are things that you experience and if any of these tips are helpful for you. So please leave me a comment and let me know. And let me know if you have any further questions about them. I'd be helpful to coach help happy to help coach you through these concerns you're having. And if you like this video, please feel free to give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about chakra healing, other kinds of energy healing, spirituality, self-care, tarot, and more. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.